Clark, there's nothing like opening night. Preseason in the rearview mirror. Now the games count for real. Terrific time. Yeah, exciting for everybody because hope springs eternal for all teams in the league after you get beyond preseason. And the games do count. They start calculating and documenting W's and L's. And the starting group for the Spurs. DeRozan out there with Lyles. Then there's DeJounte Murray. Then there's LaMarcus Aldridge. And it's Forbes in at the shooting guard position. And for the Grizzlies, Morant and Brooks manning the backcourt. Jackson and Valanciunas, they're in the middle. And it's Crowder in at the small forward. And it's Morant missing. And so Aldridge will bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. And count it, the shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. The six foot seven native of Compton, DeMar DeRozan, getting it done. Great strength there. You know, in the loaded West, DeMar DeRozan, not an all-star last season after being one multiple times in the East, his first time missing the festivities in four seasons. One shot. throw is off from DeRozan you talk about that edge Clark for DeRozan very focused on proving his doubters wrong nothing wrong with playing with something to prove with that kind of attitude and mindset turning that negative into a positive and most importantly it can't just be a mindset you have to put the work into it as well and he's done that gotten better each year and the Spurs with possession Here is Forbes. He picked up 15 points in their last win against the Celtics in Boston. Five to shoot. Outside DeRozan. Bangs home the trifecta. DeRozan's got five. DeRozan showing no panic whatsoever. Shot clock almost down, but nothing but cool head and composure from him to the paint. Here's Valanciunas. And it's Valanciunas finishing it off. And this guy to me embodies determination. Small at his position, but he still gets up and keeps plays alive. That's mind over matter for sure. Here's Aldridge. The shot that time, not on target. Nice deep from Valanciunas. DeRozan against Crowder. With nobody on him, he buries the jumper. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Well, it was the San Antonio Spurs winning their last game against the Celtics in Boston. Outside DeRozan. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Passes to Morant. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And purely from a physical standpoint, John Morant has it all. The height, the long arms, the frame to put on more weight. And few players are more explosive athletically. One drops, he ties it up. And with Morant, you not only get the physical attributes, Greg, you get the mental toughness and awareness. Yeah, this kid loves to compete. The bigger the game, the bigger he plays. I think we're looking at a potential all-NBA performer when it's all said and done. So one for two that time at the strike. They should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. Here's Murray. Brooks grabs the board. 
And here's Brooks. He'll bring it up for Memphis. It's Crowder on the wing. A 14-point game for him in the win against Minnesota. And you know what? In that last game, he was also all over the place on defense, mucking up the passing lanes and getting all kinds of steals, too. Shot clock at two, and it's Morant missing. The Spurs have gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. DeRozan passes to Aldridge. And it's Murray penetrating. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Aldridge against Crowder. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. And it's Valanciunas that time on the assist from Crowder. Valanciunas has got his second basket. And he's pretty relentless inside. Valanciunas gets after it down low. It might not always look pretty, but he makes the most of his chances in the paint. Aldridge inside, guarded by Valanciunas. To the inside, Crowder with the steal. Last break, Memphis. Ahead, and Jackson throws it down hard. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, Fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. And the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. That is his first foul of the game. DeRozan on the wing. Defended by Crowder. Good work defensively by Crowder. And the Grizzlies leading by four. Morant with it. Turned in an outstanding game against Minnesota. And finished off by Morant. And at 6-3, Morant sure can fly. Love when he gets up and throws it down. And San Antonio calls the first timeout of the game. The Grizzlies have been a winning team for most of the last decade. Injuries snapped their playoff streak back in 18, but the silver lining, a top draft pick they used to select Jaron Jackson. Now we get a chance to check out Forbes. Some last season stats for him. Averaged about 11 points a game last season. Three rebounds and two assists. And really for him, it's about putting in the work and improving his game. Yeah, and I think he wants to. It's one of those things where you either want it or you don't, and he does. Murray, the pass to DeRozan. And there's the pass to Lyles. Just five on the clock. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And in his rookie season, Jaron Jackson, the youngest player in the league, he seemed NBA ready. And already he impacts the game on both ends of the floor. A, a ton of upside with this young man. He's already helping the Grizz win games. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Aldridge, no good, shot missing. And the Grizzlies going the other way now. In the corner, Crowder with it. Pass to Valanciunas. Jackson trying to break free. Valanciunas, good. Valanciunas has got six. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Rosen dishes to Murray. With some arc, here's Lyles. Nice spin off the left rim and in. You've got to have a good basketball IQ to be effective. I love the decision to kick it out. So timeout called here. The first for Memphis. And making his return from the ACL tear, DeJounte Murray, long, athletic, and young, he still has a very bright future.
Clark. He's checked in for Memphis. Tyus Jones comes in for Morant. And checking out the stats for Aldridge. Great showing for him last season. 18th in rebounding, 18th in blocks, and amongst the league's top-tier scorers, top 20 in points per game. And like you said, one of the better rebounders in the league last season. He displayed a tireless work ethic that I think really rubbed off on the team. They get it again. Out to Brooks. Pass to Jones. Memphis moving that ball around. Jackson against Lyle. Jackson passes to Jones for Murray. The Grizzlies with another miss. Fantastic positioning there to contest that one. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, he challenged the shot, and you can see the effects on the release of that shot. I mean, it turned a simple jumper into a tough one. The, the potential is there. For Clark, it's about expanding the range so that it makes him more versatile offensively. The Grizzlies shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And that one falls for Clark. Clark, we know you have great passion for the game of basketball. Any passions that our fans may not know about? Um, yeah, I enjoy golf. I'm a, an avid reader, as you well know, Kevin. We actually share book titles on occasion. Obviously, food is universal, and there's nothing I turn down. I try to eat certain things in moderation. Um, but I enjoy board games, too. In terms of sports, I'm a fan of football, both college and pro. Enjoy playing golf. Board games and reading probably are what occupy my time. DeRozan finds Murray to the middle. Tries a three. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. Well, you know, that part of Murray's game has to be there for him. And I know how hard he's worked to improve his three-point shooting. Good to see. Outside, Jones. Passes it to Jackson. Back to Jones. Murray with the defensive effort. San Antonio trailing here. Outside DeRozan. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That's on Jaron Jackson. Oh, I tell you, DeRozan puts so much pressure on the defense, he practically forces guys to foul it. It's common to see wing players improve their perimeter shooting in the league, but DeMar DeRozan's most striking growth has been his ball handling and playmaking. He's been dynamic with the ball in his hands. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Well, Greg DeRozan watching a ton of films of guys like Andre Miller and, and Sam Cassell operating in the pick and roll. Not only that, Kevin, to, to strengthen his left hand, he'd use it for daily activities like writing, leaving no stone unturned to become an expert initiator. Here's what San Antonio's going with right now. Yaka Pirtles checked in for Aldridge. Gay comes in for Lyles, and it's wide in for Murray. You know, guys, um, DeRozan hasn't just had a great NBA career. I mean, he's had international success, too. Two gold medals with Team USA from the Rio Olympics and the 2014 World Cup. White looking around. There's the pass to Gay. Stolen by Jackson. Here's Brooks. And Pirtles sends it back. Wonderful anticipation that time from Pirtle. Positioning himself perfectly to send that one back. So they take the lead. And the Spurs lead by three. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. White against Jones. To halt the run, Jackson misses. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Outside, White. 
past the game. And it's blocked. Well, this is where measurements don't tell the whole story. Clark is a tremendous shot blocker despite having an average wingspan. Now White. He picked up 15 points in their last win against Boston. Ball's knocked loose, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Grizzlies will take it. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Kyle Anderson comes in for Crowder, and it's DeAnthony Melton in for Brooks. Mills, he's checked in for the Spurs. Melton feeling it out a bit. High, arcing shot. Can't cash in from close range. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. Pass to Mills. Outside to Rosen. Lock at six. Gay kicks to Mills. At three off the mark. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. No surprise there. I mean, realizing he has the size advantage, he exploits it perfectly. Up top to Rosen, defended by Anderson. And to Rosen. Here we go. You know, for backup point guard Tyus Jones, you love the way he plays defense. I mean, comes in and buzzes around, creates a lot of havoc. Forces turnovers, great hands, and quick feet. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for Shoot the Grizzlies. Two. Well, you have to admire their intensity in the paint defensively. I mean, really contesting and even blocking shots. Definitely a factor early. And also, they've been really active on the defensive end in terms of applying pressure and coming away with steals. Solomon Hill, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. The Spurs also with the sub. Walker's checked in. Free throws good from DeRozan. Here's Clark. A minute 42 left in the first quarter. Passes it to Anderson. Back to Clark. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on DeRozan. Easy to appreciate the physicality that Clark plays with. This is what earns him those calls. And he makes the first. And with Jones and his defense, he plays well and doesn't foul. Yeah, you know, that's an impressive ratio when you look at it, Kevin. Last season, Jones had more steals than fouls and was close to one to one in that category. It doesn't sound like a lot, but that's elite company. You're in the neighborhood of guys like Kawhi Leonard and Jimmy Butler, and we know how good those all-stars are. And so Clark nails both of them. You know, the Spurs are never afraid to play to the tune of their own drummer. I mean, just as the rest of the league embraces threes and layups, the Spurs going against that grain, leading the league in mid-range shots and post-up. Here's Melton. He's covered by Gay. The pass to Jones. Back to Anderson. Hill dishes to Anderson. Good. The assist goes to Hill. Anderson's got his second bucket of the night. We were talking about the mid-range and the post-ups. Those are the strengths of DeMar DeRozan and LaMarcus Holder. Well, Coach Popovich has been so successful for decades because he always adapts to the strengths of his players. Outstanding coaches do that in every sport. That shot diet might not work for most other teams, but if it fits the Spurs, they'll go old school and make it work for them. Here's Melton. And Pirtle sends it back. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Gay. Oh. 
32 seconds left to play in the first. Outside Hill. And too much time in the three. lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Spurs trail by four. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Six on the shot clock. Now, here's Gay. His three-pointers off the mark. And that concludes the first quarter of play. It's the Grizzlies. They're up by four. Live from the FedEx Forum, you're watching 2K Sports. And in 2018, DeMar DeRozan opened up about his battles with depression, hoping to have a positive impact on others. A lot of people shame to talk about it. Even myself, for a long period of time, people wonder why I was such a quiet guy, and that was part of it. Not wanting to speak out about it, not wanting other people to know exactly what I was going through, but you get to a certain age where you feel like it's all about helping others. It's not about you just being a selfish person about the things you're going through, other people going through stuff as well. Yep, you love the honesty and the bravery to step forward and tell his emotional story. Yeah, he, he opened a dialogue. Kevin Love following his lead to talk about anxiety. Athletes as public figures can have a broader impact than just entertaining, and we see it over and over again. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And uh, for Memphis, guys, what jumps out to you uh, stat-wise? You, you got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. On the floor for San Antonio, they've got Pirtle. Mills out there with White. Then there's Rudy Gay. And it's Walker in at the three slot. You know, he hasn't contributed well scoring the ball, but obviously his teammates have. And the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. That's foul number two for him. And that's foul number two. And maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter, they now take the lead. And the Spurs lead by two. And Pirtle does just a little bit of everything for this team. A big man that has excellent passing skills. And here is Hill. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Anderson outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. No good from Valanciunas. And here's Gay. He'll bring it up for San Antonio. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. A three from Mills. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sidelines. Well, Kevin, my cousin LaMarcus Aldridge is not the flashiest player, but he is respected. His former teammate in Portland, C.J. McCollum, said he hasn't changed his game to try and fit the new NBA. He shoots mid-range, scores under the basket, strong as heck. He knows who he is. And Kevin, LaMarcus isn't really my cousin, but his game never goes out of style. You're right, D.A., and he is still getting it done. Thank you. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That 
one is off. A lot of guys like to shoot off the dribble, but Clark, there are some that really are better at it shooting off that catch in the NBA. Yeah, and who do you have in mind, Kevin? I got a couple of names that I'm thinking about. What about you? Well, I'm thinking of Clay Thompson because yeah. that backcourt is so prolific, and he's been so great at that. And that's kind of been his trademark. Yeah, it has been. Um, Reddick would be another guy. Yes, another good. That I think that would um, come to mind. And even though he's later in his career now, but Kyle Korver. One of the very best we've had in the league at shooting off the catch. Time out, time out. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold spark. stretch offensively for sure. I'm out called the Grizzlies. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. And let's quickly take a look at the stats for Gay. Good season for him last year. Averaged about 13 points a game, seven rebounds, and two assists. And you can't downplay the importance of good size off the bench. <laughs> Space Invader, a big guy who simply holds his ground and makes opponents work around him. That's good stuff. Brooks, the pass to Morant. They get it. Happy to see that one drop, shooting a poultry two for nine. And we've seen Morant make strides in this area. Now you have to take that three-point shot seriously. Here's Murray. Count it. His second make in four attempts. Oh, such a feel shot there. The floater. The Grizzlies trail by five. Here's Morant. He's got six. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And this kid, Ja Morant, came out of nowhere, under-recruited in high school, showed some promise in that first year of college. But boy, did he blow up. That's good from Morant. And Morant really impacts the game in every area. It's incredible, Kevin. He gives you the points, the assists, the rebounds. But then you look at the box score and you also see a block, a couple steals. And I like that he shoots a high percentage at the line. And he makes both free throws. And as good as Morant's been, there's still plenty of upside. One of the younger players to enter the draft in 2019. Pass to Murray. And the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. That's his third foul of the game. Already he's looking at his third foul. I think the coach will probably look to sit him down until the third quarter. Here's Murray. He had 10 points in the win against the Celtics in Boston. And he was relentless in that one. I mean, he wanted to be the first to every rebound and almost was. Inside. Here's Hill. Good work defensively by Gay. Spurs leading by three. And Mills kicks to Walker. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Walker's got five points in the quarter. For Memphis, they've gone one of six from the field in the second quarter. It's been a rough period so far. And it's Brooks at the elbow. Back to Anderson. Alan Junis trying to free himself up. Anderson can't get it to go. And it's the Spurs ball. They're on a 14-5 run. To Purdy. Mills with it. Six points for him. Pass to Purdy. Clock at four over Hill. And it's Purdle that time on the assist by Murray. Purdle's got the lead up to seven now for the Spurs. And for Memphis, their shooting struggles apparent. 37% from the field. Here's Morant. And Purdle 
Michaels sends it back. Well, he has not been sharp this period. Seems to be a little flustered out there, too. Shots good by Mills. And what's your take, guys, in the hustle stats for the Spurs? Well, in the first half of play, they're closing out aggressively, blocking shots. A key indicator of their activity on the defensive side. Something else they've done right so far from the get-go tonight is, is run. I mean, so much of their offense has come off the fast break. And here's Gay. He'll bring it up for San Antonio. They lead by their biggest margin of the game, nine. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense, Greg, has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. The Spurs have gone five of seven from the free throw line in the game. Jaron Jackson, he's checked in for Memphis. Jay Crowder comes in for Anderson. San Antonio also making some changes. LaMarcus Aldridge has checked in for Perk. DeRozan comes in for Rudy Gay. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Patty Mills. That's good from Walker. Zone defense, Clark, being played now by a lot of teams. It's amazing that even with that, the point totals just continue to rise. And you know what? I attribute the point totals continuing to rise to a couple of things. One, the volume of three-point shots that are being taken. And I think teams are playing at a little faster pace universally. You don't see as much walking the ball up the floor as I think you may have seen in years past. And he makes that one. Murray's got seven points. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Timeout called the Grizzlies. He's forcing shots offensively, hurting his team in the process. He needs to trust his teammates more. Brooks kicks to Morant to stop the drought. Murray with the defensive effort. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. And a wide open look for Walker. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got his fourth assist in this one. The Grizzlies trail by 17. Now Morant. Eight points for him. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And going up strong inside demonstrates confidence. Morant not afraid to get physical. And Clark coming out of Washington is a one and done. DeJounte Murray was considered a raw prospect. Yeah, very raw. The 29th pick in the 2016 draft, guys, taken by the Spurs. Uh, excellent physical tools and outstanding athleticism. Was surprising that he left when he did. I recall that when I heard, but at 6'5", a 7-foot wingspan, uh, he's got a chance to be special. And he can't get the first one. Well, the Grizzlies' coaching search took two months. They finally settled on Taylor Jenkins, a former assistant coach with the Milwaukee Bucks. Jenkins, with an economics degree from Penn, fits the young academic profile of this Memphis front office worked for the Spurs six years as an assistant under Mike Budenholzer who was the coach of the year in 2019 that pedigree helped him get the job it's stolen by Valanciunas to end the run and then Morant slams it in yeah that's fire right there Morant practicing for the dunk contest I see you young fella Murray kicks to DeRozan Outside Aldridge. Here is Forbes. Here's Murray. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Murray's got nine. Murray showing you real poise that time, guys. Converting on aggressive defense. The concentration outstanding. Here's Melton. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Six to shoot. to Jackson tries again but he gets it back 
They shoot again. He takes it up and lays it in. Jackson's got his second basket of the night. You've got to be aware of him at all times. He's a bully on the backboards. Murray, the pass to Aldridge. He kicks it to Forbes. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Yeah, and they either have been unwilling or unable to take that shot away. Here's Morant. The dish to Jackson. Good. Nice job down low. He's got six. And have to commend the unselfish attitude. Like how Morant just recognized the open man and the ball was right there. The pass to DeRozan. Back to Forbes. Can't connect from short range. The Grizzlies trail by 16. Here's Morant. And finished off by Morant. How about the authority from Morant? The, the way he was running, you knew he was aiming to shatter the rim. Pass to Aldridge. Back to DeRozan. Outside, Walker. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one's on Morant. You know, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Clark. He's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Both good from the line that time. And the Spurs acquiring all-star DeMar DeRozan and Jakob Porto in exchange for Kawhi Leonard with one full season in the bag. How do you view that trade? Well, I tell you what, I think it's going to work well both ways. Obviously, for Toronto, it was fantastic, but I like Porto. This guy has tremendous attributes and ability as a big guy. Um, the Spurs, with no interest in a long rebuild, um, they'd rather retool on the fly, and I think they put themselves in position to, to be pretty good going forward. Morant comes with the double team. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. You too. And so it's Memphis with it. The Grizzlies trail by 16. Pass to Jackson. Out to the right wing. Shot clock at five. Rebound by Murray. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that lay-in. Drills the three-pointer. 12 points for DeMar DeRozan. You know, one of the biggest fears when you face a team like this with DeRozan is his ability to run the floor. And when he does that, he can hurt you on the break. Now here's Morant. DeRozan defending. Crowder feeling it out a bit. Over Murray. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Crowder's got his second basket of the night. Spurs leading by 17. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. And out of Marquette, Jake Crowder. Thank a sturdy two-way wing play. A great system player and glue guy. He had his best years with the Celtics. On the final year of this contract, a great value considering what he brings to the table. Miles check in for the Spurs. Mike comes in for Brent Forbes. A minute 20 left to play in the first half. Aldridge finds Murray. Outside White. 
San Antonio again missing. The Grizzlies trail by 17. Now here's Morant. 12 points for him. Rebounded by the Spurs. Miles got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Jackson kicks to Morant over Murray, and it's Morant missing. Yeah, you know, guys, this has been far from his best game. A disappointing outing for both him and the team. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. And he's on his way to the free throw line. Well, you look at that situation. He thought he could keep Murray from converting if he got physical with him. You better think again. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. throw good Murray how about this little nugget guys uh, when Murray earned all defensive second team honors in his rookie year he became the youngest player in NBA history to make the all defense team and here's Morant shoots the three it's deflected so as we conclude the first half so far fairly one sided Spurs out in front delivering the blowout and now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks a lot. Rudy, it looked like you guys found your old identity in the first half tonight. Yeah, that's the way we played last season. Our, our defense was our staple. And uh, that's all we have to do. We have to go out here and play defense every night. And, uh, and this is a good start for us. Let's see if you can stay true to yourself in the second half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. A pretty close game for the Spurs throughout the first quarter. They only had a couple rough stretches, and as the first period came to a close, they had a four-point deficit. They just exploded in the second quarter, grabbing the momentum and running with it. Basket after basket, and they played stingy defense. Now they've got a halftime lead that's going to be very difficult to erase. Kenny, what was your take on San Antonio? Well, the bench came in and helped them run away with this one. Tremendous job of getting loose, getting open, and drilling shots. You always want that spark off the bench. And these guys delivered. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Grizzlies. Way too soft in the paint defensively. They were all laid on their rotations. Obviously, that's a recipe for getting cooked. And you know I like eating that barbecue chicken. They got to do better, Ernie. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Spurs leading by 22. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. So on the floor for Memphis. Crowder in at the three with Jackson Jr. playing the four. Morant and Brooks manning the backcourt. And it's Valanciunas in at the five, down low. Morant with it. And it's in there. Morant's got 14. And that was all Morant. Oh, aware of the defense, figuring out how to get to his spot. Outside DeRozan. And the rejection.
Deflection by Jackson. Down low. And the dunk by Valanciunas. And really just led him to his sweet spot for that finish. Valanciunas has gone four for five from the floor tonight. Just one miss. Morant with the steal. To the inside. And stolen by Aldridge. And it's Murray penetrating. Lays it up off the glass. He's got 14. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Valanciunas again Memphis. Just a positive force right now for these guys. And though his team has fallen a bit short, it's not because of him. Murray kicks to DeRozan. Aldridge inside. Alan Junis is there. And it's Aldridge missing. And so it's Crowder with it. They'll bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. Following this one, they get to host the Warriors. Alan Junis trying to free himself up. Passes it to Morant. Back to Alan Junis. Just four to shoot. Kicks it to Morant. From deep. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And here's the stat sheet on DeMar DeRozan. Coming off a terrific season. Last year averaged 21 points per. Six assists and six rebounds. And his playmaking really stands out. Making his teammates better offensively with his terrific passing. Yeah, he's outstanding at controlling the tempo. I mean, keeps the ball moving and, of course, finds the open man. Here's Wiles, and the rejection by Jackson. And that's out of bounds. San Antonio will retain possession. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Shot clock at six. Here's DeRozan. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Jackson. Here's Lyles. The Grizzlies trail by 20. There's the lob to Jackson. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Murray surveying the D. Outside DeRozan. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. For Memphis, they've gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. And it's out of bounds. The Grizzlies able to retain possession here. Here's Jackson. He feeds it to Valanciunas. And the call will be against LaMarcus Aldridge. That is his first foul of the game. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Jackson passes to Valanciunas. And it's sent back by Aldridge. When Aldridge is in the neighborhood, you've got to be careful shooting it. I mean, proving there that he's capable of blocking shots. And DeJounte Murray gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Come on, shoot! Morant with it. Lyles there. And a fast break now for the Spurs. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And the guard, Bryn Forbes, won back-to-back -back state championships as a high schooler in the state of Michigan.
Couple years at Cleveland State, then transferred back to the state of Michigan and played at Michigan State. And after that time at Michigan State, he went undrafted, but Kevin really has developed into a steady rotation player in the NBA. And by the way, quite a knockdown shooter. And the first one drops. How about this for Brent Forbes? Undrafted. He's come a long way. Quietly, he's one of the best three-point shooters in the game. Second free throw, no good. The Grizzlies trail by 21. Brooks feeling it out a bit. The pass to Jackson. From 13, and DeRozan sends it back. Anytime DeRozan can come up for the block, gets the whole team energized. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Boy, the defense got lucky there with him missing it. But they don't want to chance that again. Now Brooks. No points in the game yet for him. Right here, back door. Pass to Morant. Just five to shoot. Looking to get it going. And it's sent back by Aldridge. And it's Murray penetrating. Rebounded by Jackson. Jackson's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Here's Crowder. And he overshot that one, missing. And the fadeaway was the only option he had on that one. Defender there all over. And Forbes kicks to Murray. Morantz with the steal. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And the fearlessness Morant plays with making the defense uneasy, forcing them to give in. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Spurs. Take a break. Well, their passing has been picturesque. Two shots. A thing of beauty in both halves. More than a few of their baskets have come off assists. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. The first one falls. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. San Antonio leading by 19. Murray outside. Here is Forbes, guarded by Jackson. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Now here's Morant. He's covered by Murray. Pass to Jackson. Inside the 10-footer. And there's Valanciunas on the assist from Jackson. 12 points for Valanciunas. One item that stood out, their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking. And more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, Kevin, tampering is a touchy subject, but it's a word we're hearing more often. Teams want to retain their star players, but they know that there's always talk during a season. Now, teams can only express interest in a player when he hits free agency. The players can talk amongst each other freely all season. Star players like LeBron James are tied into their front offices. And some people wonder if there's much of a difference between what the player says and what his team is thinking. Time out, time out. Kevin? Good point, David. Thank you. Now a timeout Sorry. called by Memphis. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. And Memphis making a change here. Clark's checked in. Here is Brooks. Hey, hey, I'll do yours, I'll do yours. 
Pass to Morant. And the pass to Jackson. Six to shoot. Count it. Jackson's got eight. I'm not sure who was supposed to be on him that possession. I mean, apparently, neither did the defenders. Murray outside. And Crowder comes up to help. To the middle. To Rosen. That's good. To Rosen's got seven points here in this quarter. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. Poked away and stolen by Murray. DeRozan against Crowder. Now here's DeRozan. He's got 19, and it's good for two. DeRozan is a man on a mission tonight. I don't know if I've ever seen DeMar any sharper than this. And here's Morant. He's got 16. Right side, Jackson. It's rebounded by Aldridge. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Here's Clark. Aldridge is covering. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. DeRozan against Crowder, and the shot goes in. 23 points for DeMar DeRozan. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Morant passes to Jackson. It's stolen by Wiles, and here we go with DeRozan running it up the middle. You never have to worry about DeRozan going soft. I mean, when he gets inside, he's taking it strong to the rack. Here's Clark. Plays it up and banks it in. Clark's got five now. You know, with that much of a height advantage, that's exactly what you should do. Take it straight to the rim. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Some changes for Memphis. Solomon Hill is checked in for Jackson. And Jones subbed in for Morant. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. Pirtle is checked in for Aldridge. Gay comes in for Trey Lyles. Derek White's checked in for Brent Forbes. And it's Mills in for Murray. The Spurs have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. And just last season, they were at about 82% from the free throw line. So those numbers are always going to be positive. Two, two. Yes. No good on the free throw. And he's good on the second. Clark, last season, we saw more of the Global Games series from the NBA. A couple games in Mexico, one in England. It's nice to see. Yeah, it really is, because I actually, six years ago, had a chance to be with the Pacers in the Global Games in ah. um, the Philippines, and then uh, Taipei, Taiwan with the Rockets. Great experience for the players and the organizations. Um, it's an additional level of travel, no doubt. About a week to 10 days where you're in another country. But it's great for the game, and it's great for the fans in those countries. Jones, no luck. Spurs leading by 23. Mills with it. He's got eight. Pass to Pirtle. Over Jones. And Pirtle gets it to go on the assist by Mills. Mills has got three assists now in this one. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. Outside Crowder. Shot, 
fades. That shot off the mark. Clearly the defense could have been better there, guys, but he also needs to convert that. Shots good by Mills. Yeah, you know, even off the dribble, guys, Mills is a capable shooter. That jump shot of his steady under just about any circumstance. Here's Jones. That one, no good. And the Spurs going the other way now. Now, here's DeRozan. He's guarded closely. Good on the bucket. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's Clark. White covering. Shot to stop the run. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And a look now at the San Antonio Spurs upcoming schedule. On Sunday, they'll be matching up against Kyle Lowry and the Toronto Raptors. And then on Wednesday... They'll face off against Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Clark. Kyle Anderson, he's checked in for Memphis. DeAnthony Melton comes in for Dylan Brooks. The Spurs also with the sub. Marcus Aldridge has checked in for Jakob Bertel. And so Clark nails both of them. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. And White kicks to Mills. Five on the clock. San Antonio needs to get off a shot here. Aldrich. And it's San Antonio with another. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. Yeah, you said the key word there, balanced. I mean, their big lead owes as much to their defense as their offense. Here's Clark. Seven points in the game. Here's Melton. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's on LaMarcus Aldridge. For Memphis, they have made 10 of their 14 tries at the free throw line in the game. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Good on both. San Antonio's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Nineteen seconds left to play here in the third. Now White still looking for his first bucket in this one. Now here is Aldridge. Four seconds left, and it's blocked by Anderson. You know, DeRozan has to put so much into the offensive end, you wonder if his defense suffers at times, but not that time. He was all over that shot. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. It's San Antonio running away with it. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball and how about the perfect delivery. And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball.
And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. On the floor for San Antonio, starting the fourth quarter, we've got Mills. Jakob Pertl out there with DeRozan. Then there's Derek White, and it's Walker in at the three. Clark is inside the halftime locker room in the NBA. Well, players typically just regroup individually. There may be some conversation between the players as a group, but then the coaches will huddle, evaluate what transpired in the first half, what adjustments need to be made, and then they'll communicate that um, to the team. And it's basically a time to rest and regroup for the players Shooting to adjust and strategize for the coaches. Clark, do you think there's any videotape review in there, maybe showing players certain sets, certain schemes? In this day and age, for sure, with the use of iPads and technology, mm. um, if you go back to my time, there was no um, quick turnaround of video in the halftime locker room. Right, right. I do know officials do that, too, in their locker room at halftime. Both shots good from the strike. And uh, San Antonio shooting an outstanding 53% for the game. And here's White. Pirtle kicks to Mills. And here comes the break. Melton passes to Morant. And stolen by White. And DeMar DeRozan the bucket on the assist by Walker. And that's now 30 points for DeMar DeRozan. Morant with it. White's there. Here's Brooks. He gets that one. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth. Here's DeRozan. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. It's Brooks on the wing, guarded by Walker. Here's Melton. Valentin is with the ball. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Melton. Defended by Pirtle. Melton, no good. And here's White. He'll bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. It's good. White's got his first bucket of the night. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. You know what, guys? Honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. Valanciunas dishes to Morant. Cranes the three-pointer. Morant's got five points in the quarter. He drilled one from deep in the first half, doing it again here in the second. Here's DeRozan. It's rebounded by Memphis. Alan Junis has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Morant. It doesn't go for him. Walker with some nice D. And White kicks to Pirtle. Back to White. And it's Melton with the rebound. The Grizzlies have gone 2 of 4 from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Pass to Morant. Brooks outside. Here's Melton. DeRozan defending. Now Valanciunas shoots over White. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. 14 points for Valanciunas. Now here's Mills. Passes to White. Left side Walker. Lets it go with a three. And it's Melton with the rebound. Melton's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Brooks, the pass to Morant. Clark, here's kind of an interesting uh, perspective question for you. How much of making it to the NBA is talent? How much of it is the work you put into it? Kevin, if I were to give this a ratio, I would probably say 65% talent, 35% work ethic. Wow. Because you have to have a level of unique giftedness to be an NBA player. Many can work really hard and not be NBA caliber. 
So I think there's, uh, I, I tilt that 65-35 talent to work at. San Antonio making a switch here. Murray's checked in. And DeRozan with the basket on the assist by Walker. 32 points for DeMar DeRozan. And, and they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. Here's Melton, covered by Mills. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. And so he hits both. Clark, there are strong divisions and there are weak divisions. And the NBA might be considering removing divisions altogether and having only two conferences. What do you think? You know, that's interesting. I like the divisions because that's what we've been accustomed to. But just having straight conferences, I wouldn't see much harm in that. You would adjust the schedule accordingly in terms of how many games you play within the conference and how many times each opponent. But I think that could work. Uh, the man has no heart, and, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. They look pretty demoralized to me, and that always shows through at the defensive end first. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Bryn Forbes, he's checked in for San Antonio. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Any changes you'd like to see made in the process when players and teams are fined for any number of things, incidents on the floor or off the floor? Well, I think there's a place for fines and the different amounts, depending on how egregious the act is by a player or team, makes some sense, I think, having different categories. But I'm one that would rather hit hard and less often. So I think if you want to minimize the number of finable offenses, then make the penalty be greater for those things that are finable. And that one drops. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Murray outside. Now the pass to DeRozan. Outside for Murray. From the stripe, and it's Morant with the rebound. The Grizzlies trail by 19. Brooks outside. Valanciunas passes to Morant. Back to Valanciunas. That one, no good. And San Antonio will go the other way with it. The feed to Murray. And it's Murray with the jam. Boy, nice job that time, guys, from Forbes, spotting the wide-open man and dropping the dime. Now here's Morant, guarded by Walker. The tray, rebound by Murray. Murray's got his fourth rebound in this one. Out to the wing, from deep, Walker. It's rebounded by Memphis. Here's Melton. 
Regarding super teams, Clark, you and I have talked a lot about this. Many fans view them in a negative light, but they're actually uh, something we've seen around in this game for a long time. Yeah, you're right. So often we become prisoners of the present and we forget about what transpired in the past, but the Celtics in the 60s were as dominant as any team in the history of the game. The Lakers in the 80s, the Bulls in the 90s. But I guess fans have a complaint because they feel those teams came together more organically compared to what seems to be a movement by free agents that has led to dominant championship teams. Although the Warriors pretty much have built their championship team through the draft. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. Murray with the bounce pass. Here's DeRozan. Again, the miss by the Spurs. The Grizzlies trail by 17. Hill passes to Melton. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Some changes for Memphis. Jackson comes in for Valanciunas. And it's Crowder in for Hill. San Antonio also making some changes. LaMarcus Aldridge comes in for Pirtle. And Rudy Gay is subbed in for Lonnie Walker. He's perfect from the line this time. And he's been rock solid at the free throw line tonight. A little bit of an unexpected bonus for them. Gay outside. Dishes it to Aldridge. Spurs passing it around. Murray, good. You know, that's one thing, guys, Murray's never afraid to do. Lean in, draw contact, and put the defender in a bind. Pass to Morant. Pass to Melton. Feeds it to Brooks. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's on LaMarcus Aldridge. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And both free throws good for Brooks. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Here's Murray. And it's Murray with the jam. Murray is a spectacular talent. And when he gets going, watch out. And here's Morant. Let's a floater go, and it's good on the way in. Moran's got 11 points in the quarter. I tell you what, guys, there's not much more he can do. I mean, he's been on fire, yet they still trail in this game. Murray kicks to Forbes. Passes it to Gay. DeRozan surveying the D. And Aldridge gets it to go on the assist from DeRozan. DeRozan's got four assists now tonight. You know, with all his post moves, Aldridge usually is able to trick the defense, but even when he doesn't, he'll still manage to finish through contact. Crowder against Aldridge. That one goes. Count it. 
Six points for Jay Crowder. I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Up top to Rosen. Defended by Crowder. And to Rosen. Here we go. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. When DeRozan's attacking the way he likes to, puts the defense in a trick bag. I mean, nice job that time forcing the issue, which he does often. Two stops. Last on the That's good from DeMar DeRozan. White, he's checked in for Murray. That misses, so he splits the free throws. The Grizzlies trail by 16. Morant with it. It's rebounded by Aldridge. Aldridge has got nine rebounds now tonight. The pass to Forbes. White left side. Pass to Aldridge. Right side to Rosen. Aldridge dishes to Forbes. From deep three-point range, Grizzlies with the rebound. Jackson's to the paint. Here's Crowder. That drops and it comes off an assist from Brooks. Crowder's got four points now in the quarter. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you gotta love that action. Now White. Mark, do you think we in the media overemphasize championship rings when talking about an individual player's legacy? Yeah, I think when you talk about an individual player's legacy, a player can be a champion without a championship ring. I know there's another level of champion which includes a championship ring, and sometimes it gets distorted in my estimation because an individual only has so much impact on a team being a championship team. There are no individual team champions. Teams win championships. Being a key player or a role player on the championship team is certainly worthy of recognition and being held in high esteem, but I don't like to see championship caliber players being diminished in the court of public opinion because they didn't win a team championship ring. Like Stockton and Malone. Exactly. You could go down the list a number of guys who just weren't, for whatever reason, able to get the ultimate in a team championship, but had championship Hall of Fame careers. There's 57 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And, and guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for San Antonio. When you consider the difference in their field goal percentages, the other team has to be happy that this wasn't a bigger loss. This team was on fire. Yeah, Kevin, it, it, it's always frustrating when you can't throw a rock on the ground and the other guys just can't seem to miss. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for DeMar DeRozan. And you know, there was no stopping him tonight. Whenever he got the ball, he was looking to score, and rightly so. Outside, White. DeRozan, DeRozan, DeRozan. And so it's San Antonio, easily taking this one. 
to come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thank you. DeMar, we know this team has offensive options, but it looks like there's great confidence defensively now. Yeah, we have to be. That's what we got to do. If we play defense, we know we can score the basketball whenever we want. We just got to get stopped. Very impressive. Very impressive, DeMar. Thank you. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.